It's been a long time since Ben and I have been on a vacation together, just the two of us. And to be honest, this year has been a hard year for us in parenting. So a big part of Family Fulfillment Project is pursuing our passions together, not as mom and dad, but as husband and wife, and to keep our friendship and joyful marriage alive and well. So Key West, here we come. We just landed in Miami. We picked up our trusted rental car, but our first priority stop is Cafe Versailles and for some Cuban coffee. Oh yeah, yeah. that's just how I remembered it. So oh yeah. So oh. On to our next stop to Key West. After a year of RV travel around the U.S., we can honestly say taking a road trip through the Florida Keys is one of the best adventures you can have. And it's definitely one of the most beautiful drives. It's only 110 miles from Miami International Airport all the way down to Key West. But you would definitely be missing out if you didn't stop at the individual islands along the way. Thank you. I can understand you're tired of this town. And I'm not saying that we have to say We are at the John Pennecamp State Park. $9 admission for two people. $18 hour long kayak rental. We're working really hard here. Yeah, somebody is. It's a hard life, guys. It's not made for tall people. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're not gonna fit through here. I'd be totally fine if there weren't alligator warnings. Besides that, I'm cool with it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Low bridge. Okay. Low bridge. Okay. This is a problem. This is a problem. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> Good thing I have my hat on. Save me. What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight? If you still love me, I can wait. I can wait. And remember this. We could have been started. Now on to the most important part of the day, the food. Give me the food. Oh, I'm so full. What? I gotta have my bite. So full, oh. it's so good. So good. If you're looking for a place to come eat in Key Largo, Key Largo Fisheries Seafood Cafe. So good. Not the most appetizing looking. Mm-hmm but delicious. So if you're looking kind of like off the beaten path restaurant, very low key, easy for children, open spaces, this is a good selection. And not expensive for what you're getting too. No, really, really fair prices. So come check it out. Key Largo Fisheries Seafood Backyard Cafe. After our really good meal and really great conversation, we got back in the car, put on some 90s hits and headed down to the Marathon Key to find the best sandy beaches. If a gator comes out of this water right now, I will fall over dead. Okay, so at Coco Plum Beach, we went on this little trail. We don't know how far it went, went, but we walked for about 10 minutes and we didn't hit the end. So we're assuming it's a fairly long trail. You could look it up probably. The water here is not my favorite, but again, it could be the tide. It could be the weather conditions. I'm not sure what's affecting the clarity. I think we should go check out the next beach. What do you think? Let's go. Let's go. Real quick, I wanna thank Maddie's for sponsoring this video. I think if we can agree on one thing, we can agree that this year has been a hard one on a lot of us health-wise. And so that has put our family into a new priority of pursuing our health and building our immune system. And while researching companies that we could stand behind, we found Maddie's. I watched this video of the founder and why she created the company for her daughter while she was walking through some health struggles. She named the company after her daughter, Maddie, and we just completely fell in love with all of their products and their mission. 
If you guys know, if you've been following us for long, you've known that we have walked some really hard health struggles with our children and we have been in the trenches of parenting. And so when we go in to buy a product, we need to know that we can trust it. We need to know we can buy anything with that label and move forward with it and it be a brand that we can stand behind and know that when they say it's natural, it's completely natural. And that's what we feel good about with Maddie's. So many brands out there right now say natural, but they're actually full of chemicals and additives. And with Maddie's, you know that you're getting non-GMO, completely organic product, and you can completely trust it. When I'm traveling, I always take their all natural vapor rub with me. I took it to Florida with me as well. And it just really helps me when I'm on the plane, I get really congested. The first couple days in a new climate, I'm always all congested. What I love about this product is that it's simple ingredients. It has peppermint and eucalyptus. There's no additives, all natural, non-GMO, organic. So I know I'm not putting a bunch of fillers on my body. I also love that Maddie's is fragrance free. We are a fragrance free home. It gives me headaches. The FDA actually does not regulate what goes into fragrance. Make sure you're being careful of that. But you know with Maddie's you can completely trust that there's no fragrance in there. All this to say, we just wanted to share Maddie's with you. We're all just trying to do our best health-wise for our kids and our family right now. If you wanna check them out, their link is in the description. I will also put the founder's story down there. I'll dare you not to cry, because I sobbed through the whole thing. But let's get back to our Keys trip and see what the best beach is. We're here at Sombrero Beach in Marathon, Florida. This one so far, I haven't been down to the water, but the amenities here are beautiful. There's a beautiful sandy volleyball court, a kid's playground that's covered for sun protection, well-maintained lawn. Let's go check out the beach to see if it's just as good, but so far this is gorgeous. Great place for families. is groomed more than the other beach for sure. The sand is softer, the water clearer. They clear the seaweed away. 100% the nicest beach we've been to here in the Keys. morning we're staying at a Fairfield Marriott and it was clean and comfortable highly recommended if you're looking for a stop halfway down and we're gonna explore the marathon key here in a little bit but right now right now we have a cooler stop let's head on down hold up just a minute Just to find myself Yeah Been losing my focus Like a thousand times before Can't take this We're at Curry Hammock State Park right now. This is a great little family park with a lot of activities. We rented a kayak that we're gonna take out for a couple of hours. There's kite surfing, there's a nice playground. So it's like a pretty fun place to spend the afternoon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you lock the car? I did. No alligators, okay. No promises. No alligators and no crocodiles. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore. It's right in front of us if we just hold on. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn Ooh, We are dreamers of the shore A must stop along the way to Key West is the Biahana State Park white sandy beaches. There is some seaweed, but it's so vast that there's plenty of room to spread out. Right now we're gonna make our way to the top of the bridge to get some good views. Let's head on up. New, it is so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Snorkeling, heavy 
It is 5.30 in the morning and we are heading to Key West. Right now we're in the Marathon Key and we are trying to get there before sunrise. So we got to hightail it. We're going to miss the pretty drive. Oh well, but it'll be worth it. We're going to be there for the sunrise. We'll probably be there before most people wake up. <sighs> That's the goal. Let's head out. We're a bit slower moving than I was hoping for. Um, tra there's not much traffic, we're just behind a big truck so it's going slow. I'm not sure if we're gonna catch a sunrise. As you can see, it's already getting light out. We'll see. Do you think we will? It's gonna be close. Oh, okay. Well, we made it. We're here in Key West at the southernmost point. We got here really early to beat the crowds. If you guys wanna see what we did here in Key West, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification to see all the things we have planned here in Key West. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll never let you go again. Reach out when your mind's uneasy, cause I 